the lost Magic Kingdom castle. A place so magical, it inspired fairy tales from one of the greatest creators of all time, Walt Disney himself. From the amazingly designed roof that glows like a thousand rubies when the sun hits it, to the stained glass that floods in a thousand colours. If I hadn't seen it from my own eyes, I wouldn't have believed it. Surrounded by woodland and forest in the middle of nowhere, it lies completely untouched, completely vacant, not a soul in sight. It really is the most amazing place I've ever seen and I think I ever will see and I'm so happy I get to show you guys too. For some reason, I always find myself at the start of a video traipsing and trekking through a forest or woodland to get to an abandoned location. But today, I promise you, it's worth it. So I, today, am at the best place on the planet. That's right, this is potentially the best abandoned video I will ever film in my life. This is the Lost Magic Kingdom. Ah, we're starting to see it now. Now just keep an eye out for this. It is like nothing we've ever filmed before. The architecture is like nothing we've ever seen before. The tiling on the roof is absolutely spectacular. I can see it from here. The, the castle spires are amazing. It's just... This is next level, guys. We are taking this channel to the next level again. This is absolutely amazing. Wow. Look at the roof. The last magic kingdom is in full effect now, boys. Wow. What a view. It looks absolutely beautiful. I like the other side better. It was absolutely amazing. Look at the giant eagle on the side and the bell. That's amazing. You didn't see that? Yeah, it's like a gargoyle eagle. Wow, it is amazing in here. Look at those front chairs. Wow. Oh wow, there's a grand piano. Wow. This is blowing my mind right now. I can't, I can't, I can't process it. The arches. This is unbelievable. This definitely is the Lost Kingdom castle. Lanterns everywhere. Beautiful lanterns. Best part, Best part I've ever done on, on YouTube. I think so. I really think so. Look at this statue. Oh, it's absolutely amazing. What does it say on there? I don't know. I think it might be French or... Oh, 
look at this staircase. Wow. So they actually say, so they actually say that Walt Disney himself designed Rapunzel's castle based on this castle. And you can see why, because of this spire right to the top. It's like a tower where Rapunzel would have been kept. And I'm sure you've seen that from the drone shots already. It's absolutely amazing. I never thought in my life I would be hitting spots like this. But I am, and it's all thanks to you. someone knows about books leave me a comment below I'm guessing these are really rare books I mean look at the state of this these must be like 200 years old some of these books especially they look ancient those books look absolutely ancient just everywhere I look there's something I want to see and spend, pay attention to So guys, I'm gonna go upstairs. I don't know what else I'm gonna find. Come with me. Dude, just looking, I'm just looking through my camera and I just don't even know how to react. I don't even. For us explorers, you need to realize we hunt for this stuff. We search the world for this stuff. Being here to us is like, make, like winning a million dollars. This is the lottery. This is what we wanted. So right now I'm on the top floor, I've come straight to the top because I wanted to see this and look at that. It is, I'm in another world right now. I've never, wow, what was that? There's a big bird down there. I've never experienced anything like this in my life. But we do got to watch out because the stairs are cracking. You can see that there. Big cracks on the stairs, big, big cracks. You gotta really watch out. This place is taking my breath away. I apologize if I'm doing bad at narrating. I apologize if I sound out of breath. But you gotta realize this is gold to us. This is what we spend our lives searching for. This is probably the pinnacle of the, of my exploring career right now. Oh, Dear John. I really, I have. I let, let me ask you this, John. Was it worth coming to France for? Dude, I think this has accomplished my whole Europe adventure. Like. I would just, I could go home right now and I'd be so happy. I've never in my life I've seen something like this. And like for me, I'm not the type of guy to look for abandoned haunted places. Something like this, just something fantasy, just eye capturing, beautiful, just beautiful. I love to make my life and kind of live in a, like a fantasy world. And seeing something like this is my dream. Yeah, I agree. I really do agree. Right, so we're going off here. This is top floor. I'm not even sure if there'll be anything more up here. Super old room. Nothing interesting. Another empty room down there. Oh, looks like they might be doing some repairing there. And uh, These, these cobble these cobble steps here have been marked on that much. There's a groove in the middle that sinks slightly. It seems like the top floor is pretty much cleared out.
Right, let's work our way back down. We'll go to the first floor and then back down to the ground floor so we can pay more attention to the artifacts we already found. So I'm heading down to the first floor, down these magnificent staircase. It's unreal. Straight out of a fairy tale. Right. Seems pretty empty. I think it's pretty bare. All the best stuff is on the ground and the outside, like Josh said. Some yeah. na nice chandelier though. Oh, that's a cool chandelier, yeah. That's it. That's a big mirror. I'm just giving you guys an idea that there really isn't that much to the other side of this place. Which, honestly, which I'm okay with. Everywhere has chandeliers. I'm totally fine. Takes you to the outside. Oh, wow, the basement. Wow, look at the old furnace. It's amazing. It's all falling down, down there. Oh wow. Walking into this room in the, in the basement was a surprise. It's a beautiful fireplace. Really nice vaulted roof. Oh, I love this place. Just another room. And look at this massive fireplace. It's been covered up by this, but you, you can see it. It's huge. It's got like a royal crown on it. Gotta keep watching those secret doors. Look at that. I don't know what that is. It's absolutely crazy. If I come, come to have one last look at this. Look at the bear. Look inside its mouth. I can't believe it's a real bear rug. It's insane. I've never seen anything like that in my life. Okay, so you can you see what I do, you see what I'm about. If you enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button and hit the like button. Make sure you press the bell, always notified. It's so important, otherwise you'll never get notified and you'll never get notified on my live streams. And if you want, you can click the blue button, which means join. You can join the channel. It's a small fee, monthly fee, and you get exclusive perks, exclusive merchandise, just so much exclusive things. Plus, you help out, hashtag Team Fighters. I still can't believe we've just been inside this place. It's unreal. So this is Rapunzel's tower. This is another reason why they say that Walt Disney himself designed Rapunzel's castle the way it was. I definitely see why. Right, I'm going inside Rapunzel's tower. <laughs> I never thought I'd ever say that. What is going on? Wow, Rapunzel Tower is a lot bigger than I thought. Oh, it's a spiral staircase. Huh? There's like nothing here. Spiral staircase? Yeah, that's good enough for me. What if Rapunzel's waiting at the top for us? Rapunzel's castle, boys. Oh my god. No one. Dude, this place is. Thing, though. Wow, huh. I didn't realise there was actually rooms in here. I thought it might be a water tower, but I can see an actual room at the bottom. It looks nice as well.
Rapunzel's tower. Also, it's attached to a bell, which is somewhere up there. And it's on a ding ding ding. That's where the bell is. Yeah. Oh, it's a clock mechanism. You can actually change the time with that clock mechanism. Dude. So that's that video done. Uh, I can't even tell you. I can't even, it's not processed yet properly what I have just filmed. I don't think any of us expected this. But I just wanted to have a sit down and say how, how grateful I am for everyone's support, everyone who watches the videos. I mean, without you guys, this wouldn't be happening. I wouldn't be here, you wouldn't be there. None of this would exist. So I just want to say thank you so much. Thank you for the support, uh, for the Patreons, for the channel members, people who donate money to PayPal. Uh, without all you guys, um, yeah, it wouldn't be possible at all. And I'm going to start doing exclusive things to people who do donate. Uh, obviously, not everyone can afford it, uh, but people who do donate, uh, I'm going to start, I don't know what, maybe a monthly package. Maybe every time I go travelling out of the country, I will send you a package of a few bits that I pick up along the way. Maybe magnets, little bits, maybe parts that we've used on our explorers, old flashlights, I don't know. I really don't know, but that's just a way of me saying thank you. I mean, it's, I know it's not much because all the money that I do have literally goes into this channel, either equipment or traveling. Um, so it's, yeah, whatever I can, I can do, I will try and do more. But we have another amazing spot to film in a minute. This is Lucifer's Castle. When we get there, the place is going to be called Lucifer's Castle. You're going to see that video next and what I've heard so far. It could be on par with this. Or even better. Achieve. Exactly. Yeah, it's like, you know, I've always had a question about Urbex community, like how I want, how I'm in and out with Urbex. It's because those places like that, that's a gem, yeah. is what I have to find. It's a rarity. Oh, no. I don't think I've ever come across that again. I don't think none of us will. Do. Nope. <laughs> those bear skins, we're looking online right now, just see how much they are, they are so rare. So, Get John, you said you nearly cried. Yeah. Elaborate. Okay, so this is where it began. Because, think about it, when you first walk in, like, I'm looking at my camera, I'm looking down, when I looked up, dude, it was like, wow, what <laughs> did I just walk into? And then, like, my eyes were, like, I actually felt it in my eyes, because it was just so freaking, like, legit. It was so beautiful. Like, it was amazing. And that's why, the minute I walked in, I was just like, oh my god. Like, I can't even talk. I was just so in the moment. I was like, dude, I don't, I actually didn't even want to film. I was just so in the moment of, like, how beautiful the place looked. It's not like, because, like, when it comes to me, I'm always basing my life off of anime. Like, when I look at things, I'm like, ah, oh, that reminds me of anime, that reminds me of anime. Going to Japan, it, it was, like, the biggest dream. So to find a real fantasy like that has, like, been the biggest dream of my whole, like, Urbex, YouTube, freaking growing up, lifestyle <laughs> commute. I don't even know. It was just phenomenal. You know, go and check out my boy John Yuri. He's got two channels. Go and subscribe to both. He's going to be posting amazing content. And definitely check out his Japan series. That's how I found them originally, looking at, at videos in Japan, and I came across the exploring crew. It's crazy how things work out. So we're at the hotel. We're at the Lemon Hotel, and every time we're here, they give us the wrong rooms. Do we live? Yeah, we're stuck in the dark. Yeah, well, I think we're going to be changing rooms because. You've got a double, and we've got a double. I mean, we should have had three triples. What the hell? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Josh. This whole place is horrible. Just leave it alone. Yo, you should have just stayed in a hostel, bro. So, the lemon hotel is just full of lemons. But they're actually limes, by the way. Well, that's another spot down. I can't believe we actually managed to film that place. I wish I could have spent more time in there, but literally we only had about 25 minutes to film inside. So this is as good as I could have got. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash a like. Leave me a comment. What was your favorite part inside this mansion? Or should I say castle? Because it really was a fairy tale castle. And I've got to say, we're not done yet. I still have about six or seven videos from this trip to drop and every one of them is about as good as this one I'm not even gonna lie to you it's amazing the spots that we're doing these days they blow all the old ones completely out of the water when I'm with the crew I feel indestructible 
literally we cannot be stopped we are doing the best in the world and we will continue to find the best in the world and we're the only ones doing it you already know so far in the in the last 12 months we've driven through 16 different countries driven down these long highways filled with abandoned cars car crashes they just get left there it's that rural out here but we don't care we're gonna keep going if it's romania germany africa i don't i don't care we're gonna go and we're gonna do it and we're making the best